Japan. Culture and tradition. Japan is famous for having one of the richest and most interesting cultures in the world. Many of the country's ancient practices and traditions are still intact today, helping to shape Japan's unique lifestyle and global perception. While most Westerners conjure thoughts of sushi, samurai and sumo wrestlers when they think about Japanese culture, and they wouldn't be wrong, these notions barely scratch the surface of the Japanese people and their multifaceted culture. Even though Japan, much like other neighboring East Asian countries, has been influenced by China and Chinese culture since the classical times, ever since the United States ended Japan's long period of relative isolation in the 19th century, Japan has opened up to and embraced Western cultures from regions such as Europe and North America. While learning from other countries, Japan also successfully retains its own unique and beautiful culture. If you are getting ready to take a holiday to the land of the rising sun, heading there for business purposes, or just looking to be aware and respectful to people from this country, here are some traditions and rituals that you need to know in order to blend in with the locals and not succumb to an acute case of culture shock. Enjoy festivities in Japan. With a temperate climate, Japan has four lovely and distinct seasons. These seasons together with regional differences across the archipelago have given birth to various local cultures, customs, as well as, matsuri, or festivals, in Japan. Deriving from the country's unique Shinto religion, these festivals are closely related to Japanese people's religious beliefs as well as customs developed in Japan's agrarian past. Festivals, apart from a few exceptions, are usually clustered around traditional holidays. Most began in order to celebrate, or to pray for, good harvests. They often feature grand processions as well as local festival markets. As the festive atmosphere fills the air, people's enthusiasm and excitement soars. Be sure enjoy at least one Matsuri if you have the chance. Learn the history and culture. History plays an important part in Japanese culture. Many castles and streets are still preserved the way they were built. Having a polytheistic culture, there are also a lot of shrines and temples all around Japan. Influences from Buddhism and the traditional Shinto religion can be seen in these traditional architectures. Some of these castles and temples are listed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Visit these fascinating historical sites and various museums across the country to have a first-hand experience of the history and the culture of Japan. Temples and Shrines The histories of temples and shrines can go back hundreds to even thousands of years. Take a trip to these temples and shrines and learn about how culture and aesthetics are deeply rooted in the daily life of every Japanese people. Used to be imperial capitals of Japan in different historical periods, Kyoto and Nara are both ancient cities with rich history and culture. With many temples and shrines with historical meaning well preserved, Kyoto and Nara are both listed as historic monuments in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. For example, the Buddhist temple Byodoin in Kyoto is part of the design of Japanese 10 yen coin, and the Phoenix of the Hall of Phoenix in Byodoin is also printed on every 10,000 yen note in Japan. Japan's castles Most of Japan's castles were originally conceived as fortress for military defense. They were often placed in strategic locations, but as towns and cities developed, some were built as centers of governance. As Japan used to consist of many states, there were at 1.5 thousand castles scattered throughout the country. 
Today, there are more than 100 castles still extant in Japan. Some of the most famous castles include the Himeji Castle in Himeji City, the Kumamoto Castle in Kumamoto, and the Matsumoto Castle in Nagano. Generally well preserved, most of the Japanese castles are open to the public for tours and exploration. Mostly managed by local governments, these castles often offer guided tours to tourists, and or reenactments of historical scenes. At some of the castles, you might even have a chance to dress up as princesses, lords, warriors or ninjas. Summer Festivals, Fireworks Summer festivals are another fun and exciting Japanese tradition that kids can enjoy too. Japanese fireworks are some of the most elaborate and colorful in the world. They develop new types of fireworks every year and the fireworks festivals are a summer tradition from long ago. This is an event where you can enjoy wearing a yukata, too. There are fireworks held almost every weekend from the end of July to the end of August and thousands of people gather at these festivals. It's very difficult to navigate these crowds or know the best place to see the fireworks from, so I really recommend requesting a tour and having a local guide take you there and back to your hotel. The trains, the station nearest the event, and the streets will be crammed with people before and after the fireworks so it's really easy to get lost. However, you cannot really experience a Japanese summer without seeing the fireworks. You can also enjoy the Japanese food culture by trying all the different kinds of street food they sell at the food stands at these festivals. The usual stands are for fried noodles, fried chicken, and takoyaki, fried batter balls with octopus in them. They're delicious. <laughs> Cherry Blossom Viewing as you know, spring is all about seeing the cherry blossoms in Japan. They bloom from around the last days of March to the first week of April. Nowadays there are many tours to take you to see the beautiful cherry blossoms. One thing you'll probably see a lot when going on these tours are people having picnics under the flowering trees. This is a custom called, Ohanami, or literally cherry blossom viewing. People enjoy talking, eating, drinking alcohol, and overall having a good time under the cherry blossoms. Doing this at night is called, Yozakura, or night cherry blossoms. Night picnics tend to have more alcohol and get more rowdy with drunk people. Even when there are no lawns to sit on, they spread plastic sheets on the asphalt pavement of the walkways and just have their picnic there. There are so many people in the parks on weekends that you'll want to go on a weekday if possible. And make sure to dress warmly as it's still very chilly after sunset in spring. There are many more types of Japanese traditions and culture that you'll experience in Japan. One typical aspect of Japanese culture that you will see often is bowing. The Japanese bow to say hello or welcome, to say goodbye or come again, to say thank you, to say grace before a meal, to pray at a shrine, etc. You'll probably be bowed to at least once a day while in Japan. You don't have to bow back, but giving back a little bob of your head is proper etiquette and will show that you see or you hear them. Another thing you will hear a lot is the word, irishimase, which means welcome. The store or restaurant staff will say this every time a person comes in. It's the norm in Japan so don't be surprised when they all say or, according to the type of store, shout it out together at you. There are also Japanese cultural traditions that you can experience and enjoy together with the local people. These are mostly seasonal events that can be enjoyed anywhere in Japan. <laughs> 